Hi, this is David. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft 365 Copilot to help you be more productive with your day, planning your day, uh, organizing your inbox and meetings and so on. Um, in 365 Copilot, has a couple of modes, and it, uh, I can get to it here from the web. The way that I usually get to it is I just go to bing.com and I click on this copilot icon right here. And really, all this this from stuff here, I could have just typed this in directly in 365.cloud.microsoft.com slash chat, and that would get me to the same place. Now, uh, there are two modes here. There's the web mode, and this is just basically a, a, a natural language interface for searching the web, or there's the work mode. And the work mode has the advantage that you it will understand your, it has access to your email, your Teams, um, your OneDrive, and all, all sorts of things inside of your organization. Um, so it can be really helpful and helping you to organize your day because it knows what your appointments are, what emails you've received, what chats you've received, things like that. So I'm going to just show you a couple of examples of how you can use this. And, and I'll, full disclosure, um, I'm constantly searching the web for, when I've come across a really interesting prompt. Uh, I'll hang on to it, and I'll copy it down, and I'll use it later on. So some of these originated from someone else and I've totally forgotten who they came from, so I, I can't give credit to it right now, but like most great ideas, they, they started out somewhere else, and then I've just sort of tweaked them and made them my own. Uh, the first one I'll just show you is right here. Let's say, list the items that explicit, explicitly mentioned me in the last 24 hours in my email inbox and my Teams chats and my Teams channels, and use this information to, to determine my top three action items for tomorrow. Let's go ahead and do that. It's the end of the day right now. This might be a nice thing to just look at right here. And you can see that it had some Teams chat and Teams channels. Nobody mentioned me in chat in the last few hours. It's, it's actually early January right now, so people aren't real active. But I did have some things in Teams channels where people were talking to me and a, a few email messages in here. And this is really helpful. So there's one right there. This one right here is going to be a little bit longer. I'll paste it in, and then I'll just read the whole thing to you. You, you, you are my personal assistant. I'm giving it some context. I'm going to ground it in who I think it is. I better spell personal correctly. Create a report with three sections: today, tomorrow, and preparation. And then I'll describe those sections. Today, write a short paragraph in my work today. List tasks that came from my meetings. Highlight important things from my email. Tomorrow, summarize my meetings tomorrow. Create a table listing the meeting organizers and meeting details. List the category of each meeting, personal, internal, external, or traveling, in, and add any, let's get rid of that word, in, and add any important things that I need to know about the meeting. Uh, list the percent of time spent on each category. That'll be these, uh, categories I talked about right here, these four categories. What else? And then preparation, the third section, summarize the important things I need to know to make tomorrow a productive day, suggest good times for breaks. Let's go ahead and run this. And now it's going to look in my inbox. It's going to look in my Teams channel um, and figure things out from that. Here's the report. Today is a paragraph. I told this one would be in a paragraph. Tells me what to do. Here's uh, to to, uh, tomorrow, here's a summary of my meetings tomorrow. Came right out of my calendar. Um, it is a category for each meeting. This is internal. This is traveling. This is a personal, a doctor appointment. Uh, as my personal trainer, that's also personal. Travel to and from the gym. Some internal things, etc. cetera. Uh, what's external? Meet with recruit partners. Let's take a guess at that. And you can see that I'm spending about 30% on f personal stuff, 20% of my time traveling, and so on. Uh, make tomorrow a productive day. Here are the important things you need to know. Assist this. Follow up with Ashwin. Prepare for tr customer training. And here's my suggested break time. So I looked at my calendar and said, hey, you've got a little bit of time here. Oh, yeah, there's five minutes. It's not very much there. Uh, Ten minutes there. This is probably better. i got about a half an hour here before preparing for business. This is a pretty day busy day tomorrow. Um, a couple other things here that I can do. How about this? List any follow-up actions from this week's meetings that need to be addressed next week 
And I can do this after that report, or I could just do it independently because um, it does have some context. It understands what I'm doing here, but this didn't really need too much of that. And then I've got some meetings that are coming up next week and how to, what are the issues that I might want to talk about with them. And here's one that I haven't done before. I just recently thought about this. Suggest time slots for personal development activities next week, such as training or learning or new skills. Maybe that's all I really want to do is just, I, I've, I know I've got some time, but I want to start scheduling it here. And here it's, it's finding time Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Breaks in my schedule where I can actually, between uh, after this, I've got a half an hour free. That's a good time for it. Uh, it. Right now, it doesn't have a button that actually will schedule that for me. I think that'll be nice if it comes to that. But this is some nice planning, and here's where you can use Microsoft 365 Copilot to help you to organize your day because it understands the context and understands what you're doing because you've given it access to your email and all of your information inside of Microsoft Teams. This is David. Thank you for watching.